So a lot of people have asked me to remake my boss mule guide video and after some time and you know playing on my new account I've got better insight talking to more people who have been you know doing this as well I've learned some things and you know I figured I would make an updated video on how to fund your boss mule basically all the different points what what kind of gear you're looking for when you should get a boss mule uh, what even is a boss mule etc so why should you ever make a boss mule well basically the meta right now in like any reboot is to create side characters besides your main that could also kill bosses and get money that way it's actually very time efficient and meso efficient to do it that way and for me personally i would recommend getting a boss mule when your main is at the point that it could already do its weekly bosses pretty comfortably and it could farm mesos with meso drop gear that way you could trade the bosses that you need to get the gear on the boss mule like from your from your main you could trade with it and you could get the mesos you need to fund your boss mules uh doing boss mules before that i find it to be pretty difficult because you don't have as many resources or or anything like that you just have to kind of hope that somebody can help you out for nothing in return but yeah similar to my last video i have my boss moves broken down into three stages baby good and cracked most people are going to fall under the baby and good categories but i figured i would add in the crack category just because i want to cover as many different points in the game as possible realistically anything past the cracked point you should know what you're doing because you're already pretty strong and I'm, I doubt you need a video like this. And yeah. Um, keep in mind that different people are capable of different uh, pacing and like how to get your gear. For example, like if you are able to get carried a lot of hard bosses, you could get the gear a lot quicker than another person, right? But regardless, like this guide should still benefit everybody. Uh, it's not really like, a guide on how to get the gear but just what to get and how to enhance it and what's efficient in terms of mesos and time so i have all these items laid out and you know it does seem kind of intimidating at first because there's so many different items what do i get what do i get at what point what takes how long to get each item and whatnot so we'll break it down so the baby boss mule uh i found this is like kind of the best investment to be honest with you because it's really not that expensive and you could actually do a lot and let me preface um the boss mules with two very important things the first very important thing is you could get a lot done with your boss mules if you practice the bosses so a lot of people like to fund their boss mules but they don't they want to fund them to the point where they don't have to do the boss they just blow the boss up and move on and that's a very different that's very very different than doing the actual boss versus blowing it up they're, they're, they're completely different so if you're somebody who doesn't mind actually doing the boss maybe it takes a couple minutes or, or like even 10 minutes to do a boss or something then the baby boss meal is actually like super a super great investment because you don't really need that much damage to the bosses in the game you just need to be patient and know how to play your class and the boss so there is a level of practice and patience in this that could save you a lot of mesos um the other thing is picking a class so when you're picking your boss mule uh there's two ways you could go about it the way that i recommend the most is you want to play a class that you enjoy because or or you have some interest in because that'll be a class that you know you're going to want to log into because some classes are obviously way stronger than others for example bowmaster that I'm using in this example, like Bowmaster's Gear or like Demon Slayer uh, are like super, super powerful boss mules. But if you don't like those classes, you're not going to want to log into it. So it's up to you whether you want to play something you like. That's not necessarily as good as a boss mule. But let's let me make it clear, like every class is perfectly fine as a boss mule. But let's say you want to play something, you know, that you like, but it's not as good. That's perfectly fine. Or if you just want to like you don't care what you like, you just want to make money then you can watch my boss mule tier list videos for low funding and like middle funding and you could just pick like all the s tier classes basically so yeah uh so we're gonna start with the baby boss mules gear 
so as a like a baby boss mule um you're gonna so the nodes are incredibly important right uh for all three the nodes are incredibly important the more nodes that you have the the more you could get away with from your gear because nodes are basically everything for boss mules it all comes down to nodes but you know this is why i say you want to have your main at a point where it can farm because you do need some nodes saved up farm or like is strong enough to to do do its own weekly so you could just park your main there and save nodes and put them on a mule and then that mule can start generating you money and this is generally how many nodes i recommend saving for a baby boss mule around three to five hundred i find that you could get your boost uh your boost nodes to level like 20 ish and your skill nodes maybe like 10 to 15 so it's not too bad um your gear isn't going to be too crazy you're looking like between 12 to 15 stars you could do everything on event of course besides you know cubing and flaming doesn't really that matter that much if it's on event um the thing that's nice about cubing and flaming is you could do a lot of it for free uh down the line because the more boss moves you have the more master craftsmen and flames you'll get from weeklies so eventually like you could just use those free cubes to just fund more boss mules but starting off like you know you just need like epic to unique pots pots actually don't give you that much damage believe it or not the main pots that help you out a lot are the legendary or weapon secondary and emblem you want those at legendary you want attack boss and ied and whatnot uh flames flames don't even really matter at this stage like just any amount of your main stat is like fine so when it comes to when it comes to gear on your baby boss mule I recommend getting the uh, the regular boss set effect. So all the items that the the normal bosses give. So like the condensed power crystal for the face, um, aquatic aquatic letter eye for the eye. So this boss set is actually pretty good. In my previous video, I recommended getting Golux, but you know you should still do golux every day to slowly work towards it because the golux set is so strong but if you want to get the ball rolling as early as possible you want to get the boss set just a normal boss set because these items are really easy to get and um they're actually not that bad the set effect isn't that bad so these are just like standard items emblem and and badge um your secondary let's say so we're using let's say we're using a bow master in this, in this example there's obviously two secondaries for like every class, the Princess No one and the regular one. I wouldn't bother with the Princess No one. I would just get the regular secondary. Princess No just takes too long and it's not a fun boss to do. If you're something like a DB, for example, you could get like the, this, uh, you know, the Fafnir Katara. Or if you're a mage or something, you could get the shield. Um, so rings, right? So a lot of people struggle with rings rings are pretty difficult to get i'm gonna be honest uh regardless of the point that you're in kata's treasure is a like common quote-unquote common ring but you know sometimes it never drops and princess no is annoying to do so i wouldn't really recommend getting it unless you really want it um a ring that you could get without too much difficulty is a solid ring um Solid ring isn't too bad. It's not that many Golux coins, and you could get it dropped from normal normal Golux. So there's a chance for that. It can be star to 17 as well. Like it's future proofed. Um, event rings are pretty much your best friend in terms of uh, in terms of like an early boss meal. So this reboot, uh, this this like Tenebris expedition ring, it just it just represents event rings. Like instead of having a picture of every event ring, just whatever event ring you could use. Synergy ring, I have this one specifically on its own because Synergy ring um, it has a special side effect where if five characters are on your account are wearing it, then it's actually a really good ring. But even on its own without the five characters is pretty decent. So you could use like these event rings if you want. Um, another ring that's really easy to get is the Treasure John's ring. It only goes to 15 stars, which is fine starting out, but you can potential it. Uh, legendary 1299 potential, so it's not too bad um and then the silver blossom ring silver blossom ring from horntail is really easy to get and you could potential it in terms of pendants the mechanator pendant is the easiest one to get uh you could pretty much get one every day from arcarium and that's another thing See seeing that prequests are now uh you're able to do them 
on all your characters regardless of the prequest um you just have to do it once it makes getting things like arcarium mechanator independent like way easier instead of do instead of having to do like 30 minute pre's on each character um except princess snow princess snow for some reason the prequests aren't account bound which is dumb as hell um next pendant you could get is either the horntail pendant i'd recommend the horntail pendant or if you want a little bit more damage and future proofing you could get the solid pendant which i believe does drop from normal golux or you could get the dominator pendant so here's the other thing if you're a character that was burned um and there's like terror burning rewards you get you could potentially get a free dominator pendant or a free abso weapon i would recommend the abso weapon but if you already have a good weapon you could get the free dominator pendant and uh the free dominator pendant is more than good enough and another thing with pendants is you know you have to ex expand your pendant slot you don't even have to do that if you don't want to but if you do want to these are some options i would get um in terms of your your hat top and bottom you always want cra i i considered putting pencilier on this but cra is just way too good to pass up and it's not too difficult to get at all especially the top and bottom seeing that you could get twice as many potential lines instead of using like an overall so i would definitely recommend getting cra um for your weapon so the thing about weapon is i would recommend getting a fafnir weapon if, you, if you're doing cra anyways you could get the fafnir weapon um you could upgrade to abso if you want but it's it's probably gonna take too long granted they did make the dark world tree and scrapyard weeklies easier so you could get a weapon like faster now but i'd still recommend just rocking the fafnir it's perfectly fine if you are someone who's doing sweet water you could use the sweet water weapon it is a level 160 weapon so it does have a higher attack it does have higher attack than the fafnir but with the fafnir weapon you do gain 30 boss from the cra side effect so there's that um in terms of belts you're definitely going to want to use the gold clover belt from pink bean it's really easy to get and it's part of the boss set effect that i was talking to earlier nine set bosses is really good actually so it's like one two three four five six seven items so far um alternatively you could get the zach one if you get the zach one first solid belt does draw pretty easily and you know if you are somebody who's able to get helix then i would use the sup belt because the sup belt um if it drops the sup belt has such crazy base stats so there's those any of these belts are, are perfectly fine basically uh earrings uh same with the belts you could use uh the d Sidus earrings or the willow whiffs whatever you get first d Sidus does work towards the the uh boss set effect and uh willow whiffs as well but if you are somebody who can get helix runs or whatever um and you get like superior earring you should use that for future proofing yourself unless you don't care about that and you just want you just want you know bare minimum you don't ever plan to upgrade um so in terms of armors so armors there is a lot of mix and match here you could run pentelier armors you know if you want but i would recommend not getting pentelier's i would just go straight for the antique route because it's just better like it's 10 levels higher than pentelier you could pen use pentelier to transfer stars to these and um and they're very very accessible like they're not hard items to get tyrant cape is actually such crazy value because it has 30 attack base on it i believe so that alone you don't even have to star this thing you don't have to spend any money on starring it and it's already like really good it has 30 attack base which a lot of items you need to star them to like 15 to like 16 17 stars for them to have 30 attack um shoulder you want to use the royal uh me black metal shoulder or something like something like that i forgot what it's called but yeah this does work towards the boss set effect they can go to 17 stars so it's not bad heart um you know if you're not trying to spend two bill on a heart that's fine you could get it like a lydium heart for free from usually every event so this is like an example of what like a baby boss meal would look like uh in terms of the gear and then for the gear like i like i said earlier you know 12 to 15 stars is all you need um legendary wsc that's the most important wc meaning your weapon secondary and emblem um since uh you're like a baby boss mule uh id isn't 
as important because the bosses you're doing aren't like crazy high defense. I would still recommend trying to roll a line of IED or boss on, on your WSE, but it's not too, too important. Epic to unique pots, like I said earlier, uh, potentials actually don't give that much damage, so you don't need like legendary pots, and then any flame amount. So as a baby boss fuel, these are the bosses I recommend doing. So Hard Hilla, Chaos Pink Bean, Normal Cygnus, uh, Three Door, Hard Magnus, and Chaos Zack. The reason I put an X on Princess Snow is because you're gonna have to do the prequest on every character. If they ever change that, then you probably should do Princess Snow, so you could also get Connor's Treasures, even though it's annoying to do, and it adds 81 mil more, more mesos if you want to do it. So you could get anywhere between six to 700 mil just for this. And the meso cost just for this baby boss mule is probably less than five bill. And I'm not even like making a joke there. Like you could get this all done in like less than five bill mesos. The WC might be a little bit more expensive, but that, that's probably gonna be like your most Mo like that your highest cost but it's definitely worth getting them to legendary and getting like a line of attack with boss or like a line of attack with ied or like boss and ied or something so yeah like this is extremely cheap and it could start making like 700 mil mesos if you want every week and um if you're somebody who you know has more nodes for example and could pump it even more then you could even do some of the higher higher bosses like a catchy or CPAP if you want to practice or CVAL. And you can make like over a bill a week just from this. So yeah. Uh if we're moving on to the we're moving on to the good boss mule. So the good boss mule, um this is kind of like the sweet spot, I'd say. The baby is like super cost efficient, but this one um uh, is like a lot stronger and it'll make your weeklies much faster. Oh yeah, in terms of pocket slot, like if you want to unlock it, it's not that big of a deal, but it's like whatever. You could get like a pink bean cup or a, or a stone of life from uh, Hilla. So the good boss meal, it's it's kind of the same. CRA is standard. Uh, hat, top and bottom. They're too good to pass up. At this point, you could still run the nine set boss, but I would say start working on getting Absol Labs. So whether you have somebody you could, you could trade hard Lomian with or you do the weeklies, I would recommend getting the Apsos because the Apsos actually do give you a lot more damage and um, and uh, they all, they all uh, the, the, the set effect is really good on the Apsos. So you get a lot more IED and boss from them. Again, each piece takes like one week to get one week uh, of weeklies to get so they made it a lot easier to get these like you could get all the pieces in like a couple weeks it, that's with only one character if you have more than one character that could do the weeklies it's super fast so your weapon i'd also recommend upgrading to the apso weapon that way you're, you have five set apso if you do have a cra weapon already and it's really good you could just keep the cra weapon it's not that big of a deal so yeah but i would recommend going to the apso weapon because the apso weapon does have a lot more attack on it and gives you the five set. So face and eye at this point, I'd recommend upgrading to the black bean mark. You've probably been running uh, Chaos Pink Bean at this point and might have one of these. So this item does go to uh, above 15 stars. So it's better than the uh, Zack eye. Um, and then in terms of the face, you could get a Sweetwater face. And if you're somebody who can get carried lucid or well, um, you could get the Twilight mark, but that's not really most people. Uh, it's perfectly fine to get the Zack face and keep it, but the Sweetwater face actually isn't that difficult to get. So it only takes maybe about a week of dailies to get, and it's pretty easy. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, on a baby boss mule, you want to be around level 210 to 220. Let me write that down, actually. Level 210 to 220. Because, um, that way you'll have enough node slots, um... You'll have enough node slots that you can use most of your skills. And then this is level 235 plus. So, uh, what else? There's the rings. So the rings for a good boss meal, you're going to start looking more towards rings that are star forcible, right? So that, that you're able to star. So like things like the 
reinforced ring or superior ring. Um, at this point, you could start looking at getting the superior set. Superior set, even at this point, is a bit difficult to get out of everything because it just takes so long trying to get the drops and it takes like two months of coins to buy the pendant and the and the ring but if it's something that you've been working on the entire time then you should be getting pretty close so i would recommend the superior ring um you could reuse your solid ring um from your baby stage and uh you know you could use an event ring as well event ring is perfectly fine event ring is about equal to like a 16 17 star ring and if for some classes that scale with HP, it's actually worth more. Uh, if you have been doing Pino, you could use Akana's Treasure. Uh, so that's one option. If you haven't been doing Pino, then uh, you could just buy a Reinforced Ring. Or you could uh, just continue using your Silver Blossom Ring. So this last slot is pretty flexible. Uh, pendant, same, uh, you could start using the Sub, sub Pendant if, you have, uh, if you've been doing the dailies. But... Uh, the, the smarter thing to probably do is to just go the reinforced set because the reinforced set is only 15 ID, I believe, less than the superior Golux set. So, and it takes way less time to get. So, all these rings are like, you know, optional. You have many, many options here. So, there's a reinforced ring, reinforced pendant. So you could get, you could go for the superior set or the reinforced set. I would recommend. Uh, there's also like a dom pendant if you get that from, from Arcarium, you could use it. So a lot, of, a lot of these items, um, they are reusable and you can mix and match. So I'm just giving you like uh, an idea of what you can aim for. It just depends on where you're at. Like if you've been doing Golux a lot, you could get the reinforced superior set. If you haven't been doing Golux a lot, then try to get upgrade to like a dom pendant. And you could just reuse your old items. E-rings. Um, same thing with Golux. Like if you've been doing Golux a lot. You get the sub earring or the reinforced earring. Whichever one. It's uh, whichever set you're, that's easier for you to get. Or you could again just reuse your. You know boss set earring if you want. Um, belt. Belt. Again, I'm repeating myself, but it's the same thing. Doing Golux a lot, use the use the sub belt slash reinforced belt. Or if you're not, then uh, just continue using your your ping ping belt. So I'm just gonna use the sub. I'm just gonna put the sub belt here just in case, like as a placeholder. Um, emblem on badge are standard. The main difference between like a good boss mule and like a baby boss mule. Uh, it just comes down to enhancing your gear. Uh, so, and set effects. It comes down to enhancing your gear and set effects. So, at this point, like, you'll have the Abso set effect. And you'll have maybe, like, a reinforced or a superior set effect. And those set effects actually give you a ton of damage. So, there's that. If you're something like... Um, if you've been doing Pino, you could probably get the Pino secondary by now. Uh, but if you already have your old secondary and it's pretty good, I wouldn't bother. But if you're something like a DB... Or like a mage, uh, definitely st use those starble secondaries. So I'll just put it there as a placeholder, even though I know I know there's a bow in the weapon slot, so it doesn't make sense. But yeah, um, so these are like the kinds of gear that you want. Oh yeah, the heart. I'd I'd recommend spending two bill on uh, fairy heart because your character will be kind of strong at this point. Um, you're going to be looking at like 16 stars and everything. I would recommend doing it on a 5, 10, 15, of course, because the 16 star is free. Um, that way, all your items will have a lot more attack than when you were in the baby stage. Legendary, WSC, and Glove. So this time I mentioned the Glove too, so you could get crit damage. Crit damage scales so hard at the, at the early stages in the game. Unique pots and two lines. So at this point, I would recommend getting everything to unique across the board and two lines, so like 9 and 6%. 15% even one line is honestly fine and then any flame amount it's the same thing like flames don't really matter that much so if you get like I don't know like 60 flat on your top or like 80 flat on your cape or something like just keep that it's not that big of a deal um, and then the level 220 to 235 this way you'll have almost all of your skills unlocked or probably all of them uh, depending on the class so you'll be dishing out most of your damage because you could just use more of your V skills. 
500 to 1,000 nodes is what I typically recommend. One, if you're putting in 1,000 nodes into a character, um, you're probably going to have like level 40 boost nodes, meaning you unlock the second boost of the of the boost node. So you'll probably have extra ID or something on most classes. And your, your skill nodes are probably going to be between like level 15 or higher. So you'll be quite a lot stronger. And for the cracked boss mule, so a lot of people... I would oh yeah no before the cracked I gotta mention for the good how much meso this would cost so this could cost anywhere from like 10 to like 15 bill I feel like that's a lot but you could probably get away with 10 bill if you're smart with it so this is like um around 5 bill and then this is like around 10 bill and when you're at this point for the for the good boss mule you're going to be making around 1.3 bill mesos every week. It could be more if you do Pino. So it could be like 1.4. And the other bosses that I recommend you start doing is Akechi, CPAP, C Vellum, uh, Normal Lomian. So the reason I didn't put some of these bosses in the baby tier is because a lot of people don't... Th these, these five bosses require like more mechanics basically. The ones before are kind of like brain dead. Even though like um, they could be a little bit annoying. It's not that hard. But these more these like require a little bit more uh, patience and practice. So I put them in their own tier with the good, with the good tier, and uh, you could make like potentially up to 1.4 bill mesos every week, and that's pretty good if you ask me. So, um, anyways, yeah. So you you could spend around like 10 bill for this. You could do it even less if you, you could do it with even less if you're smart. Because you could get all the pots essentially for free with Master Craftsmen's if you have a lot of them. And it just comes down to starring. And if you wait for an event, it could be cheap as hell. But yeah, moving on to the Cracked tier. So this is just... Honestly, this is just for fun. Like, this is just because... Like, all of my boss mules were Cracked. So I'm like, okay, I figured... I I would just mention, like, to make Cracked boss mules. Um, the Cracked boss mules, you could get a lot done with this. Um... Yeah, most people aren't going to go for this because it does get really expensive. And the I guess the only reason you would go for a point like this is if you just really like the class. If you really like the class and you want to play it, it's almost like second main territory. Um, then, you, then there's a fun factor that kind of outweighs the meso efficiency factor. Because if you just want to talk about straight meso efficiency, you just make a bunch of baby boss mules and spam those. But... Um, you know, sometimes you just want to, like, play a class you really like and fund it all more just because you like it. So, I figured I would mention that. Uh, cracked boss mules. Uh, you're going to be looking at, like, some crazy gear. Like, you could run either Sweetwater Face or Twilight Mark, depending on if you get carried. I'm just going to put the Twilight Mark because why not? Um, I, you could, I would still recommend actually using the Black Bean Mark. If you get a Pap Mark, you could transpose to the Monocle, but... The black bean mark is actually so good. The fact that it could go to 20 stars and um, the flames are pretty good on it. It's not. It's like a flame advantaged item. It's pretty hard to beat this, even with a monocle. And getting a pop mark is obviously impossible, as we all know. Um, rings, all star fortune rings at this point. So you get the superior ring, um, of course. So you could get the four set Golux. Reinforced ring as well. Very powerful ring. Um guardian slime ring as well you could start getting it from normal and if you have anybody that could take you chaos this is like pretty much guaranteed very powerful ring and either the fourth slot could be an event ring if you want to save a little bit um but we'll just use another star force ring so you know connor's treasure because at this point like on a second main you probably have done these freeze or something so all starbo rings it'll be really good for your raid power lots of attack with those rings um, pendants, of course, you want to use the superior pendant. Your secondary pendant could be the uh, Dom pendant if you have a real one, because Dom pendants are actually really strong. Um, or you could use like another reinforced pendant if you want. If you're an old account and you have old sub pendants, you could just use double sub pendant. CRA, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty like impossible to defeat CRA. So, of course, CRA. Now, in terms of your armors, um, 
since this is like a cracked ass boss mule, you could just keep running the Apsos. But, um, you know, if you're able to, if you know people and you're able to run uh, hard bosses, you could just leech and get arcane drops. Like if your main is really strong, you could just leech and get arcane drops. They're not, they're not difficult to get. The drops cut are very often. And again, this, this tier is just more like for fun. I wouldn't recommend this. This is unrealistic for a lot of people. But, you know, I'm just going to do it anyways because it's fun. Why not, right? So, yeah, like have a boss move with five set arcane. Like what a flex, right? And then the arcane weapon. So the arcane weapon, I actually do recommend getting regardless. Like at this point, even like this is the most important one to get out of the armors. Because the arcane weapon is actually such a massive boost from all the other weapons. Like arcane weapon diff is actually huge. So, like, you could run the force at Apso completely and just run their arcane weapon. You'll be strong as hell. But, you know, we'll just put the five set arcane for fun. Um, superior earring for the four set Golux. Four set Golux is so powerful. 30% boss and 30% IED for free. Uh, belt, sub belt. Sub belt has crazy attack. Emblem and badge, of course. The two best in slots. Well, emblem isn't technically best in slot, but you get what I'm saying. And then your secondary, let's say you're min-maxing and you like transpose a Sweetwater Katara at this point. So this is like a cracked boss mule. At this point, like you're going for 17 stars across the board. Legendary on all your items, two line. Um, and then for your flames, some higher flat stat flame. So what does that mean? So when you're, when you're like starting out, uh, how flames scale is the stronger you are like when you're at the end game like percent all stat actually weighs like a lot like it's pretty good to get percent all stat um, on your flames but if you're still early on uh, it's a lot better to get really high flat stat so let's say you're flaming your top and you get like a hundred flat like you just keep that versus something like 60 and four percent all stat so you'd want like high higher like flat stat flames across the board if you do get something good like let's say you got like 68 and six percent all stat on like your pants like you just keep that anyways but if you're flaming and you see something like high flat stat i'd recommend getting that honestly like all all the it, this applies to all the things so all the tiers but you know more so in the crack tier because you're going to be spending more money so this crack tier the, the the cost could be whatever you want basically because you're just doing this for fun the cost doesn't matter as much like the, it could go up to like 30 bill like just on all your gear easily so there's that um level 235 plus yeah this is like for characters i would even recommend even going over 250 because your gear will be so strong and you could train pretty much anywhere so one thing that i forgot to mention on all these tiers is arcane force and the reason i haven't mentioned it is because uh arcane force is something like on a baby boss mule you don't necessarily have to do you should get you should do your dailies but i understand that it's annoying for a lot of people but the dailies do give you a lot of damage so on a baby boss meal like i'd recommend just since you're only going to be like 210 to 220 i'd recommend maybe getting level like five symbols across the board so whatever that is maybe like two three hundred arcane force good boss meal you definitely want to start pushing like 540 af and then cracked since you could potentially be doing easy well you want like you know eight to nine hundred arcane force or higher so but yeah in the crack tier like you'll be doing all these bosses easy will does take some time to to do but you know if you do want to make the most out of the boss meal you could do it it's almost 200 mil just for easy will and you could start unlocking like easy will easy lucid and normal guardian slime and you can make like legit almost two bill mesos just every week from that character so it's not even even spending like 30 bill on this character if you're doing all those bosses, like it's only going to take a few months to get your money back, which obviously is a long time, but you do get a character that's really, really strong and fun on your account. So, but for in general, I would recommend going the baby route and maybe even the good route. If you do want to push a character to a point where, um, you know, you're having a lot of fun with it and you do enjoy it a lot. I would recommend pushing the good crack that I don't recommend, but if you do really love a character and you want a second main, then I would do stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and if I forgot anything or if I'm dumb as hell and I couldn't add these numbers properly. Um, yeah, let me know, whatever. Um, oh, another thing actually, Legion. 
Uh, legion is incredibly important for boss mules, so I wouldn't recommend doing boss mules if you have low legion. Like when you're a baby boss mule, I'd recommend having if you're making if you're trying to make baby boss mules, I'd recommend having at least 4k legion. Good boss mules like 6k, cracked like 8k. So yeah, that that's what I would recommend. Legion is incredibly important as well. Uh, also familiars, I forgot to mention familiars. Uh, you don't really need any fams uh, for the baby or good stage. You could just open rare fams that you get like from training on your main and just go for like two 15% IEDs and call it there. If you're cracked, then maybe you should start doing fams. But fams are so incredibly hard that I recommend just dumping all your fams on your main. So there's that. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'll try to answer them. And yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out and gives you guys a better idea on like how the boss mule funding process goes and what level to get and the gear, what the gear looks like and stuff. And yeah, just keep in mind the most important two things are to play a class that you want to play and to actually practice the bosses because you could actually get a lot done with your class if you know how to play your class and what the boss does. So don't don't feel discouraged if you're just like, oh, I can't kill it in like 30 seconds. Like, no, like actually like try and you can get it done. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and peace out.